Hey everybody, Dave here from Iographer, and today we're gonna to take a look at the iPhone 13 Pro Max, adding a lens to it, and how to overcome uh, the situation where you don't think the lenses work, especially if you're using the Apple camera, because there's a certain setting you need to deal with in the Apple camera, so let's take a look at it. First of all, I wanna let you know I always shoot in um, airplane mode because I don't wanna get any kind of phone calls, etc., during my shoot. So I'm going to open up the phone, I'm going to turn on the camera, there you see it, and I'm going to screw on my case wide angle lens. The inner camera lens here on the iPhone is the one you're going to want to use. So I'm going to put it on, we've got it on securely, I turn it around, and all of a sudden you see this ring. Like what's going on? Why, why am I seeing this? Oh no, it went away. Oh no, there it is again. So it probably is really frustrating because it was frustrating to me <laughs> when this happened. And I had to do some digging and actually ask some Apple engineers what's going on. So let's get into this. So now I'm gonna go into settings and I'm gonna scroll down until I come to camera. And here's all your camera settings. And we're gonna scroll down from here and you're gonna see there's some new settings here specifically for the iPhone 13 Pro Max. Lens correction, prioritize faster shooting, and in the bottom here, auto macro. I had no idea this was here until the Apple engineer friends of mine told me. Automatically switch the ultra wide camera angle, uh, camera capture to capture macro photos and videos. That is why we're getting that black thing going around. So I'm gonna take off the lens. I'm gonna just turn, turn off auto macro. So now I'm gonna turn on the Apple camera, normal. Let's put the lens back on. And actually I have it in um, pan mode, but I don't want that. Here's photo mode. Works great, I can come up and do a little bit of macro. I'm gonna go to video mode. No problems at all. It's entirely due to the fact that uh, it was had that settings on it. So you definitely want to go into settings and then look for camera down a little bit further. I have many apps, don't I? <laughs> Where is it? My bad. Let's go back up a little bit. Here we go. Camera. And then scroll down and you'll see auto macro. So now you can turn it on and off depending on what you want to do. If you're using lenses, definitely turn it off. And that's how you fix that. Now, I will say using other apps such as Filmic Pro, so I'm just gonna turn back um, the auto macro feature and we'll check the camera again. And uh, let's see, there it is. We've got that problem again. But if I go into an app like Filmic Pro, our number one favorite uh, filmmaking app, there's no problems here whatsoever. It doesn't, it only is with the Apple camera. And if I wanna shoot photos, let me get out of this and I'll go into something like Adobe Lightroom and um, we'll get out of here and I'll go into the camera and here it is. Adobe Lightroom doesn't have any problems either. So it's only when you're using the Apple camera, which uh, you know you might just go out and do for quick film shoots or video shoots, but I highly recommend for videos, checking out Filmic Pro, and for stills, check out the uh, Lightroom app by Adobe. It's so customizable. You can see down here, I've got all these functions, white balance, ISO, blah, blah, blah. All right, hope this helps you out, and I hope you have a great day. Cheers.